Oh, I always love to see that intro. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Infern, as always, and today we are starting the Let's Play of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Uh, I've I've been trying to do this for a while, and this game is really fun. And uh, my cat's messing with stuff, but all right, this is it's a fun game. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway, many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now are you ready? Then, let the questions begin. Did you play Explorers of Time or Explorers of Darkness? I have played Explorers of Darkness, but I haven't played Time. Eating a very fascinating... You are eating at a very fancy restaurant, known for its food. Which course do you select? Um, seared steak, healthy fish, anything is all good. Probably seared steak. Have you ever realized you were hogging the conversation? Yeah. Really important test tomorrow. What do you do? Um, what do you get? Excuse me. When you completely silent assembly, when suddenly you hear somebody pass gas, how do you react? Uh, I would just let it go by. Because I'm mature. Uh, yes, I have accidentally called the teacher mom or dad. <laughs> you told that yes, I have. You want to be famous? Yeah, sure, why not? I looked at you, fraction in the mirror, and thought, what a cool person. <laughs> yeah, male or female? <laughs> well, I'm a female! No, I'm a female. Your aura will be analyzed. Or is it irradiate? Relax, calm yourself, and press the fingertip gently on the bow. I guess I have to do that with my mouse. I wonder if it'll be the same as in my actual DS. Or it is. I uh, know, it's different. A refreshing green. It's different. On um, the DS, it's always like aqua blue. Thank you for answering the questions. You seem to be the sassy type, or at least somewhat sassy. You don't like talk taking orders. You're a little rebellious and like to disagree. You're a lone wolf. You like to keep your distance from the groups and go off and do things on your own. Older folks may be the ones who find <laughs> you're the most disagreeable, even selfish. But people younger than you tend to really admire you. So a sassy type like you, we are Riolu. <gasps> That's one of the Pokemon I wanted to be. Yeah. And finally, who will be your partner? Choose a Pokemon you want for a partner. Oh, man. And this game has more choices than the other ones. Um. Dang, this is going to be really hard. I don't know who I want. You know, if it really had to be one, I'd have to pick Cyndaquil. Because Cyndaquil is but Chimchar's my favorite starter. Uh, Monfern Infernape's my favorite Pokemon, as you all know. Uh, but, um, dang. This is hard. I'm gonna be letting a lot of Pokemon down. I was never a Gen 1 -er, because I wasn't even born when Gen 1 came out. Um. I'll have to pick one of the Hoenn starters because I was born when Hoenn came out. So, Mudkip, <laughs> Torchic, wherever that is, or Trico. Even as Torchic. Um, you know what? For my playthrough that I did without recording it, for my playthrough I did use Mudkip, so I guess I'm gonna use Mudkip. Or is that a reason not to use Mudkip? Eh, I don't care. Um, we're not. No. 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 
I'm not gonna be doing it. Is it? You're all ready to go. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Alrighty. Chapter 1. Storm at Sea. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are, are you okay? No. Don't let go. Just a little longer. Come on, hang on. No. I can't. Hold on. <laughs> don't know what that was, but don't ask. Just don't. Ah, that beautiful. Where? Where am I? I can't. Drifting off. <laughs> I'm gonna do my voice for my gip. No! I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer! This is it! I have to steal my courage to die! Pokemon detected, Pokemon detected. Whose footprint, whose footprint? Footprint is my gifts, footprint is my gifts! Ah! <laughs> that was too shocking! Whew. I can't. I can't work up the courage to go in after all. I told myself that. But, that this is the day, but. That the hold of my personal treasure would inspire me. That's gonna become important later. Just remember that. Oh, I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. It's so discouraging. I bet the voice changed like three times while I was doing that, but I don't really care. Hey, Zubat. Did you get a load of that? You bet I did, Gavin! That little whip was facing around. Had something good, right? That whip had something else for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. <coughs> and that's my Zubat impression. Pretty good one, right? No? Okay. Pretty sight. Oh my gosh, that's not the voice. <laughs> Dang it, I gotta remember that voice. And the world is scared the crowd out come out at sundown and blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the sun and suns rise off the waves. It's always beautiful. This is why I always come and I feel sorry for myself. But it makes me feel good to be here like I was. I mean, who is uplifting? It cheers me up. Oh, what's that? What's going on over there? What? Someone's collapsed on the sand! What happened? Are you okay? Ugh. Where am I? I don't remember it at all, so I was seriously worried. Do you remember how you ended up unconscious there? Uh, I was unconscious? What happened? Well, I'm Medtip. Glad to meet you. And who are you? I've never seen you around here before. What? You said you were hurt? You look totally like an... You look... Oh. You look like a totally normal Ryu to me! It, it's true! I've turned into a Ryu! How did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. 
Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You know the truth? Alright then. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... My name... Is Infern. I spelled it right? Yeah. Oh, Infern is your name? Okay! Well, sound like a bad Pokemon at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning you up lately, you see? More Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things have grown somewhat lawless. <laughs> Ouch! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> Hell, <laughs> you can't figure it out. We want to mess with you. Can't face up to us, can you? What? <laughs> this is yours, isn't it? No, that's. Sorry, kiddo. We'll be taking that. Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Not gonna make a move to get that back. What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on, let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> I do. That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that, no, there's no time to waste. I gotta get back. Hey, can I get you to help me? Yeah. Sure, why not? Really? You really help? Thank you. Let's go quickly. Okay, so this is basically the uh, dungeon part. Um, let's see, I'll trigger was, okay, so, I'm going to, oh, what was, <laughs> uh, what was that, um, hold on, I gotta recheck my settings here, um, num 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 num, start with enter, oh, X, I'm so smart. Um, I'll take, uh, take s quick attack as a move. Uh, B, B, okay. Oh, here, yeah, okay. Um, so it was L, A, okay. There we go, okay. I did it. world's money is it's by things stuffs and things so I might as well talk about mystery dungeons um, if you don't know already know what mystery dungeons are they are dungeons you go through in the uh, well mystery dungeon games um, they change every time you go in them and um, they're the layout changes and the staircase location changes and uh everything pretty much changes. So uh my two squares wait, okay. But yeah. And they're usually pretty easy to get through unless you uh he blasted breeze fire. Yeah. Okay. Passed over the blast seed. So, uh, yeah, so you can proceed down stairs at any time. And if question about anything, you can get anything in the quick menu. Um, so we can battle this Corsola also. So, uh, yeah, so it's all good and fun. So you pretty much just find your way around to the stairs. And always make sure if you want to proceed or not. For reasons. 
So, uh... Huh. Well, well. If it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. Er, it would make more sense if I picked Torch Chicken, but you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. Treasure, you say. Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? It could be worth more than we'd hope for, I'd say. We gotta try selling it. Who knows, it might get a good price. Oh, all the more reason not to give it back. What? If you want to buy it that badly, come and get it. Attack that guy. Oh my. Yeah, because that did so much. I use Growl. <laughs> we got roughed up. Blasted, how we get wiped by them? Ah, here, here, go take it then. Whoa, don't think you're so awesome, your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that. Whee! Oh, it's my relic fragment. Am I ever so glad? <laughs> I actually did manage to get it back. It's only because you agreed to help me, Amber. Thank you. Thank you, seriously. I only hope because I happen to be there. Well, is that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. <coughs> Here's what they stole. This relic fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this is relic fragment. This relic fragment is my precious treasure. You see, I always like legends and lore. I always get excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden throws full of treasure and a strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness. A new land is waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of unimaginable golden treasure. A history! Wouldn't it be amazing to make the story discover us? That's what I always dream of. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. So, the inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? Remember that pattern for later in the story. It's true. There is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this. There must be some significance to this pattern. The swell of five must be located in legendary places. To areas pre where precious treasure lies. At least that's the feeling I had. That's why I want to join the exploration here. This fragment must fit into something somewhere. I want to discover where that is. I wish to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier, I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice. But I chickened out. What about you, then, friend? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory and somehow got transformed into Pokemon. Do you ever really get on stay after this? If not, can I ask a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an efficient exploration team with you, in friend. Shall I you? Please? Whoa, what should I do? I'm not getting recruited out of the blue. Or, I'm getting recruited out of the blue. I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon form an exploration team? Yes. It's true, I do have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue what I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up for my kid, with my kid for now. Maybe eventually I'll discover who or what I'm hanging out what I am hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, it's settled. Yes? Really? The fun of the first team of it? Yes, that's cool! <laughs> we have a really great combination. Let's make this work. First, we should go to Wiggly Tough Flash and sign up as apprentices. That's where we need to train and become first with the exploration team. I'm sure the training will be very tough. Well, let's give it our best, Infern! Alright, and so, 
Mud, Kippen, and Fern formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure awaited at their arrival. be the end of this first episode thank you guys so much for watching be sure to like subscribe comment and do good stuff and i'll see you guys next time bye